indiscriminate bombing and obliterating entire neighbourhoods is a war crime. Collective punishment and starving a population of necessities is a war crime. Ordering 1.1 million people to leave their homes and forcibly displacing them, that is a war crime as well. Mr Speaker, I absolutely condemn Hamas's killing of Israeli civilians and I echo the calls for the release of hostages, but that does not excuse war crimes. And merely saying international law should be followed when it is clearly not being followed is an insult. So, Prime Minister, I ask. How many more Palestinians must die before the Prime Minister condemns Israel for violating international law and calls for an immediate ceasefire? Prime Minister. Mr. Mr. Speaker, as I've been very clear, we support the Palestinian people because they are victims of Hamas too. And we mourn the loss of every innocent life, civilians of every faith, every nationality who have been killed in this conflict. But I simply disagree with the Honourable Lady in her characterisation of what is going on. There is a significant difference between a terrorist organisation that deliberately and specifically targeted the killing, mutilation and murder of innocent civilians, including children and women uh, and babies, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and and Israel's lawful right to defend itself and go after those perpetrators.